In a strategic move to strengthen its presence in JNK, the Indian Air Force has deployed its indigenous Tejas Mark I fighter jets at the Awantipur Air Force Station, which lies in its strategic location, and serves as a satellite airfield for Srinagar, making it a vital launching base for the Indian Air Force. The Air Officer Commanding-in-Chief of Western Air Command visited the base, and he interacted with the aircrew and lauded their operational preparedness. The Aeronautical Development Agency has issued a tender for the simulation phase of the concept demonstration of manned-unmanned teaming on the Naval Tejas Light Combat Aircraft. The concept demonstration includes two primary types of missions, first would be collaboration between the Naval Tejas aircraft a manned fighter jet and unmanned aerial platform to execute maritime strike missions autonomously, and second will be air-to-air -air engagements. The DRDO Indian Army and Indian Air Force has completed the joint user trials of the Helena and Dhruv Astral anti-tank guided missiles, and now the technology of both these anti-tank guided missiles is ready to be transferred to a public sector company for mass production. The ATGMs features both direct hit and top attack modes, that will revolutionize the capabilities of the Rudra attack helicopter and Prachand light combat helicopter, and will open up export opportunities. Bharat Forge has received an approval from the Ministry of Home Affairs, to participate in potential defense programs in the future. The approval specifically covers small arms and their ammunition, and it is to be noted, that it had recently formed a strategic alliance with Bulgarian firm Arsenal for make in India small arms and ammunition. Bharat Forge will also be developing a manufacturing capability in India for a 7.62x39mm rifle and 7.62x51mm machine guns. The RDO's gas turbine research establishment is on a quest to acquire a flying test bed in a quad jet configuration, that will enable swapping and utilization of one of its four engines for testing purposes. This renewed pursuit comes in light of a potential joint development deal between GTRE and French firm Safran to develop 120 kN engine for a MCA program, that could be signed later this year. The Indo-French engine will undergo testing on the Rafale flying test bed, however, GTRE remains keen on having its flying test bed for enhanced flexibility and autonomy in its engine development program, and also fulfill its long-pending desire for a flying test bed for the cavalry engine program. Germany's Dissencrypt Marine Systems and Mazagin Dock ship builders have teamed up again for the overhaul and modernization of the German origin submarine INS Sunkish. Over the next three years, the submarine will be modernized by Mazagin Dock ship builders, while Dissencrypt Marine Systems will be responsible for supplying material packages of selected systems equipment and components, as well as for on site technical support and pressure hull inspection. The proposed date of completion of the 14.15 km Zorgila tunnel was December 2026, but now the construction company has set a new date of December 2030. The tunnel will establish all weather connectivity between the Union territories of Ladakh and JNK, and will facilitate military movement, and holds strategic significance from the security viewpoint of India. Oh, my God.